Hello. Oh. Ah. I hear myself. It's uh, still connected to the Bluetooth and I hear myself recording this from the kitchen. Hello, hello, hello. Um, let's disable that. Uh, kind of weird it does that, this. You can use it for some purposes, but... Okay, so I'm gone. That's good. Okay, so I was busy with the quad. Not because I like it, just because I thought, well... I have to do it sometime and it's sitting there for like a I think almost a year maybe well I think it's a year maybe so I replaced the sock of this old quad and uh, too bad I didn't make any footage of it and I did the other thing already but um, I can tell you this you have to open up the backside make sure it's all discharged um, you can discharge the high voltage by um, it's the it's the pinkish cable. You can short it out with uh, something earthed, uh, like uh, maybe a heater, like uh, there on the metal, the bare metal that is. At least in the Netherlands, uh, these are grounded, so uh, you will uh, well discharge them. Do it several times and then uh, or leave it for five minutes on the rail, on the heater and then it's uh, discharged but <coughs> uh, it's all uh, at your own risk but then you have to remove the whole uh, panel assembly including the wood to do so you screw uh, you unscrew all these uh, screws here there 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 several and I first thought you could do this from the upside which uh, ended up in fucking up some screws because you can't. They are screws, but here there are nuts on it, and there's screw thread into the plastic thing that's on, uh, under this wood. So uh, just you cannot just unscrew them. You have to remove the nut, and then you can disassemble it. I think if I knew that, it would be less of a hassle. But still, um, then. To get rid of the base, you have to desolder uh, these wires from the transformers. This is the sense wire, I think, for the. It, it senses if it's gonna flash over. This is the high voltage wire itself. It's it's funny that they uh, use a very anemic, crappy wire, and I see people use like a very well insulated. Uh, silicon wire on the on the high voltage BIOS which is really not necessary as you can see the only ones that are pretty well isolated are these are kind of weird why these are isolated by the way but it looks nice are these and these are high voltage wires because the trannies will put out some serious current as well so it, it can kill you and uh, yeah but Apparently uh, for the high voltage BIOS, which is 5 kV or something, it's not necessary. Also, look at how, f how insanely small these transformers are actually. So if I use a reference, for instance, my uh, thumb, <laughs> which is not a fair reference because it's quite thick. but. <laughs> um, they're tiny. I wanted to say something else. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and there is almost hardly any wire on them as well. I, I don't know. They're, they're insanely cheap. It is funny that they use, uh, it's not a C core, but it's like an, I don't know how you call it, a double C core? I think. Yeah. So you got metal going like this. It's like a figure, it's like an 8. Two times uh, a, a C core, or that's no, not a C core then. So four pieces of C core that makes up an eight, kind of. Yeah, and they use the strap, so it's probably is it's exactly that, or uh, it might be an E. I don't know. Didn't get them apart, but uh, at least you can uh, uh, disassemble them and just. Um, wind the coil or the bobbin and then add the, the silicon metal later in one go so no uh, fucking around with uh, small plates and stuff so uh, like the e e 
IE cores which suck not not in use but to make yourself it's quite a lot of work um, yeah but they're really tiny and of course they're in the parallel at the primary and serial in the secondary I think and they got a like a insane step up ratio it's a wonder that I even reach 20k it's really well done I mean it doesn't weigh shit and I'm curious about how expensive they are. I, I, I bet they are not even that expensive. I mean, I've had, I wanted some transformers for another company. And I'll show you. These, these were uh, C cores. And they were only used for mid range. And it's a step up of 1 to 120. So, oh, it doesn't even fit. What's going on here? This thing and that tiny thing. Uh, and uh, yeah, these are, I think, maybe even a piece, a little bit higher step up ratio. And they're full range as well. So either this is uh, not well, um, I don't know, I mean, I don't know much about transforms, but maybe these are not well designed or just over designed. At least the metal is quite expensive. I, I, I thought I'd look it up for a change, but it's really expensive. And I don't like this, this wiggly stuff either. Not, not perfect, I think, but uh, yeah. These are quite beefy uh, transformers, and if they're any good, I'll leave that to um, to other guys. I don't decide. I'm, uh, I have no ability to measuring transformers. I used this several times to test stuff, and it works perfectly fine. But back to the quads. I'll uh, erase you a little bit. So um, here you got the panel with the delay lines. All these uh, white things are the delay lines. You got uh, several uh, pieces here for the one stator and on the other side a mirror image for the other stator. Uh, how it exactly works I cannot tell you. Really, I don't have a clue. I think it was something with, I don't know, it's loads of wires. Um, I really have no fucking clue how it works. I mean, I can imagine you can <laughs> have a long enough wire and delay something, but I believe it sounds uh, uh, it, the electricity will travel at speed of light, so that will probably be a lot more wire than this to delay, and probably your whole signal will be uh, fucked up. So of course it uses, at least I think, uses another method, but um, I don't know what it is. This is one thing. This board is just. It's not even. It's not. It's not. It's just flapping in the breeze here. Isn't that ridiculous? So, if you want to change this sock, you have to remove... Well, first unscrew these screws that hold this whole um, panel arrangement thing. But don't do it at the top, but do it at the bottom. Then you desolder all these wires. Then you have to remove this delay board thing, which is a pain in the ass. Um, well, then you... Um, put the sock on the frame, then you put the wood on top of that, then you put this thing on top of it, and then you have to cramp in this delay board again. And then you uh, notice that nothing is really holding it. Except gravity or something, I don't know. I don't see any... Might as well. Did I miss something? But I think it's just sitting there. Of course the panels are gonna sit on top of it, so... It's it's cannot it cannot move like like this, but still I thought it must be a better way. I think overall this speaker is the most complicated speaker I ever got apart, and I think it's the most retarded thing as well. Everything is custom made and really nice. That's that's cool, but it looks a bit over designed so much that it's. I think they wasted like a half of the their income to um, 
labor because it's just a stupid design to put them all together. It really is. Especially the mechanical part. The electric, uh, the, the PCBs and such all looks nice. This is typical quad. All the nicely bent wires if you look at all quad equipment. It's really awesome. Lots of work. But the mechanical part is really in my opinion a dumb design. But okay, I'm gonna solder up these wires to the transformers and then um, put some uh, bolts. Nuts! Yeah, there we are. So you got these um, tiny clips that go over um, like here to hold the wires in this in this oh, hole. Here, isn't that a great design? It is, it is a nice detail. But. So this is what I do, I usually have this um, thing and I put everything in uh, this casing with all the crap I took out. So uh, since it, it has been a year, I still have every part and I uh, took some uh, pictures on my phone, how it was arranged. It's very important to do so. You can see how, uh, how it was arranged, so I can just rebuild it because I know uh, I would forget how it, how it was wired, for instance. <clears throat> so it's really nice to have some pictures. Just gotta solder them in and... Um, Clean up for me. And at least it's the age where left free didn't exist, I think. Because it's in the very old pattern. Nope. This one. This one. Where did this one go? I think there. Must be on the inch for To be certain, I think it was here. It should be a little bit more. Yeah, it's like there. But I'm gonna just to be sure, I don't want to try this one. I bought these uh, cloth online at Musik Wiedergaben, I think. It is fucking expensive. I think they charged more than 100 euros for stupid cloth. And it's not even... Uh, it's not e even seamless. For that amount of money I, s I expected a seamless sock. Now I got a sew more seam somewhere and I'm not sure where to put it. Uh, too bad I put put it on the side on the on the previous panel, so I'm gonna put it on the side here as well. But now, when I think of it, it might be nicer to have it on the back side. But that's it's too late. I'm not gonna do this whole stuff again with the other panel because it's there's really no no fun at all in doing this. I, I even called someone that repairs these if he. Uh, was interested in uh, taking uh, two sets of quads from me because uh, it, it's just standing in and I'm quite annoyed working on it. I hate this fucking design. Love the sound, hate the design. It's not nice to work on at all. Everything costs a lot of time. Removing glue takes a lot of time because they have gazillion panels, which is a stupid idea as well, uh, production-wise. I mean, if it's broken, you can uh, change, exchange one panel. If they're all fucked, you have to do like eight panels, which is as much work as doing one bigger panel. So it's just, it's completely a dumb design, but th there's, there is a reason for it, of course. First of all, they wanted to use three micron mylar, I think. And if you had one panel, it's, no, it's not possible to, to reach uh, the high resonance they wanted to have, like 70 hertz or something. So that might be it. Uh, maybe they thought it is nice to, to be able to exchange panels that are fucked, but they probably didn't know that every panel will be fucked in a certain amount of time. So, well, I'll uh, gonna look up where this wire goes and uh, solder it and uh, be back soon.